what is up everyone like how is everyone doing it's been a minute i miss you guys <laughs> what is really going on lately i have been really having the honor and the opportunity to really uh, get a chance to reflect on love and love life and the ideal of dating and all that good stuff. If you don't know, I am single and I don't know. There's a lot of mistakes that I know that I can honestly say that I have made in some of my past relationships, <laughs> but I have definitely learn from them and as I was sitting back and I was just thinking and talking with some of my friend girls I am really seeing I'm really noticing that affairs and people dating married men or men that's in a relationship is like out of control like I need you to love me to be able to love me enough to love me and chase me while you're free you get what I'm saying? Like, if you love me that damn deep and you claim you so unhappy, I need you to love me and chase after me while you're free, not while you're still married. And I have really got a chance to really dive and take a look into that and really, really just open my eyes to that. Like, you deserve so much more. And that was one of the things that I had to tell myself. And with that being said, I'm sure you guys are wondering, yes, I have talked, um, semi-dated uh, with a married man. And it's, it's kind of a mind thing. And I had to really realize that I'm dating a liar, you know? I'm dating a liar. He's... Either he's lying to me, he's lying to her. I'm sure I'm not the only one. So it's like, it's it's so much. And to this day, him and I are now just strictly friends. And if we can't be friends with him, we can't be nothing at all. But I just noticed, like, speaking to my homegirls and just listening, like, when I go get my nails done, go get my hair done, like, it's the thing to do. And it's not. And I was listening to these women and things that they were saying and how much the guy loved them and how much he's not happy at home. And it has really made me reflect on the things that I was being told and things that's going, that's really going on. Because if you're really that unhappy, one thing I know about a man that I am so grateful that my homeboys and also um males close to me like my nephew have taught me that when a man want to do something he's going to do it there's no if ands nor buts about it like us women we'll sit around and think about it you know we got that thinking thing going on we sit around and think about shit but when it comes to men oh no no honey mm -mm. when they ready to go they are ready to go so where is the value in ourselves you know what i'm saying like we have to really value yourselves not saying i had low self-esteem because me and my sister even had this conversation she was like all women that date married men or men that's in relationship periods they have low self-esteem and you know, like i had to tell her that's not true because i'm far from having low self-esteem like i don't have low self-esteem at all but what I was missing on was wanting uh, love and wanting to be in a relationship. Did I seek after a married man? No. It was just something that I found him attractive. He found me attractive. I wasn't for sure if he was married or not. We actually connected, started talking. Um, I asked him if he was married. He told me yes. I made the decision to continue it on. So it's not that people that date married men or, or, or dating men that's in a relationship are actually going after these men. Sometimes these men are coming after us too. But women, we and guys, we have to make the decision to say, 
no, I deserve better. Like, if you like me, if you into me that much, be into me while you're free. Be into me while you're free. So that's basically what I have to say on that topic. And I'm so happy that I got the opportunity to really sit back and look at myself. And God was just showing me different things to let me see myself through other people. And when I would listen to these women in the back of my head, I'm like, damn, she's stupid. But then I have to look at myself and say, but Jay, you doing the same damn thing, bitch. You know? So I'm so happy that I really, really got this opportunity and God blessed me with the opportunity to really step back. Do I still love him? Yes. Do I still have feelings for him? Yes. But will I ever date him again while he's still married? Will I ever seek after him again? Will I ever do all of these again with the willpower of God? No, I will not because I know I deserve better and I need to do better for myself. Like, I do. Like, I just, just, you know, it's, it's no fun in it. And I'm tired of females trying to act like it's fun and all cute. It's not fun. Yeah, you may get taken care of, but, I mean, what's being taken care of? You, you get taken care of part-part-time. You know, it's not even part-time. It's part-part-time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even worth it. And with that being said, it also led to me just thinking about, okay, now that I'm moving forward, what type of relationship do I want? What type of girlfriend do I want to be? And I start thinking back at my past relationships and just basically just revisiting them very deeply, analyzing them, dissecting them, I guess you want to say, to really figure out why it didn't work. And I have to honestly say that sometimes it didn't work because I was given white feet gifts when I was just being a girlfriend or I was giving girlfriend gifts when I was just being a date you know you have to really know your limits when you're talking to somebody there's a limit when you're dating somebody guess what a limit when you're in a relationship with somebody a limit when you're a wifey no limits you get what I'm saying so it's like you have to really set those limits and really, really get down to the bottom of it and stop it. Like, really, really stop. Like, I've been celibate for, it's about to be, mm, I have to honestly say, probably about three years now. Three years, I'm knocking on four. And for everybody that's wondering, you know, I never slept with that married man. But we did date and we did, we, we talked a lot. We had a lot of conversations. So just to put that out there, everyone that messes around with married man doesn't necessarily mean that they're sleeping with them. It was more of an emotional affair. I guess you could kind of say when it came to me and him. If there was other women, it wouldn't surprise me. What he was doing with them, I don't know. But I just know when it came to me, it was a more of an emotional conversational affair it could have led to something more but I just never allowed it when the opportunity did arise and it did but it just really made me sit back after all of this was done and I was able to rebirth myself from that because you really have to rebirth you really have to grieve when you go through something like that because it's in your mind it's in your head so when I was able to really, really focus and clear my mind and clear and my cleanse myself from that toxicness that I was pouring myself into and I started thinking about what type of relationship and what type of girlfriend I want to be and all this type of blah, 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 it really made me realize, ladies, guys, we have to have limits. Like I sat back and I looked at my home place and I look at how they treat women they talk to versus the way they treat women they date versus the way they treat women they actually are in a relationship with okay versus my homeboys that's like in a marriage and it's so different it is so different then I stepped back and I thought about us women we could just be talking to a guy and be ready to kill or be ready to steal or be ready to destroy over a talk. Like seriously. We could just be dating a guy 
and opening our legs, our insides to these men, which be they girlfriends, and be ready to give them the keys to our cars, our homes, washing their clothes, cooking their meals every day. No, no, not saying that it's wrong for you to do that. I think that you should do it every once in the blue moon just so you can show him, hey, this is the gifts that I can, you know, give to you if you want to do that. But no, you shouldn't. That's not something that you're obligated to do when you're just talking or when you're just dating or when you're just someone's girlfriend. And so I had to set myself some limits. And with that being said, I hope that you all really, really take the time out to really analyze what you're doing. Analyze your relationships, analyze everything, um, and just really focus and center yourself and pray about it and let God show you, you know. And I've learned if you want to just, for example, if I'm just talking to somebody, that's just it. We're just having a conversation, just like I'm sitting here running my mouth <laughs> and you are listening to me. And you know, and that guy, he will run his mouth, but I will listen to him. And we will, you know, um, hopefully, hopefully be able to connect uh, mentally. And he can educate me and I can educate him. And if it's something that could go to a next level as far as dating, well, then let's go on a date. Let's have fun, you know. Let's go to the movies. Let's go dancing. But at the end of the night, we can kiss. But you're not coming into my bedroom and I'm not going into yours. You're not going to feel my breasts, my ass, and I'm not going to feel your dick or anything like that. If you are my man and we are in a relationship, but then you can come spend a night every once in a while. No, we're not having sex. I have vowed to not have sex unless I'm in a true, true, true loving uh, deep relationship. I want to be in a deep relationship. I want to know for sure that it's God sent. So with that being said, I have vowed not to have sex until I get married again. But anyway, and so if you're my man and I'm your woman, like we're in a relationship, yeah, you can come spend the night sometimes. You know, I can come over to your house and spend the night sometimes. You can cook for me and I can cook for you. If you need me to, I will wash a little bit of your clothes and you wash a little bit of mine. You know, we're doing an interview. We're still, but I still want to date you at the same time. Now, when I become your wife, Bust it wide open, bust it, bust it wide open, we'll bust it wide open, bust it, bust it wide open. I'm obligated to serve you because whoever I des uh, decide to marry, I want to make sure that I can completely, completely. And I know this may, this is like an uh-uh in the, in the female world, but submit to that man because I want him to submit to God. He needs to be a man that submits to God and I can submit to him. And I could be that wife that is, that that I know that I can be and I want to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, it, it goes very deep. But ladies, fellas, I really want you guys to really just sit back and just think about um, the type of relationship you want. The type of um, person you want to be in a relationship. Because so, we think so much what type of person we want. He got to be this. She got to be that. He got to have this. She got to have that. He got to do this. She got to do that. But what about us? What about us? What type of man do you want to be? What type of woman do you want to be? What type of person you want to be just talking to someone? What type of girlfriend? What type of boyfriend? What type of woman? What type of man do you want to be? What You know, what type of wife? What type of husband? Like, what type do you want to be? Do you want to be somebody where you know you can bring something to the table? Or do you just want to depend on that person? Like, what type do you want to be? What the hell do you want to be? And with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I'm going to definitely try to come back more often and share things with you all. It was a pleasure and an honor, but I, I just had to grow, guys grow, 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 and learn from that. And I just want to open up and just give you the real deal. Anyway, this is your girl, the 7 Queen J. I love you guys. Bye.